Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's uh, video. We're going to be talking about Pepe as it is gearing up right now for another leg up. And we have Bitcoin at $71,000 looking healthy and strong. And we're going to be talking about the top six base chain meme coins. As Breton Base right now is getting everyone euphoric, bullish on the base chain. And as now Coinbase just introduced that Coinbase smart wallet, which is going to introduce its users to the world of on chain trading and to the world of deck screener so we no further ado let's get into today's video you know what to do guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and remember nothing is financial advice this show is for entertainment and some indication and hopefully finding none now guys let's get to it now so right now there are two camps in the space right now people that are bullish and people that are bearish we have strong diamond hands and we have spaghetti hands we don't have one direction only now market where people are just only choosing one way right because the market is undecided of right now but we choose to believe our eyes we choose to just follow the data and look at the charts and what especially what bitcoin is doing and what those top meme coins are doing like pp so now guys bitcoin as i laid out to you now if you follow me on twitter which you should link in the description down below bounced off that strong support which is at 67 level basically recently we've seen canada started to cut rates which is a bullish thing that is happening and people now the market is starting to price in that the usa is about to start cutting rates as well soon which is very 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 bullish now these are the bullish things we have for bitcoin bitcoin looks good and strong and healthy looking like it wants to go higher right so what this means this means we keep going up this means money to be made and this means also pp meme coins and our favorite meme coins are gonna do some crazy game now pp here for those asking about pp pp is still going now we don't need to keep repeating that pp is gonna be the top gainer this cycle pp and the pp verse is gonna be the biggest narrative as well following that pepe pumping all that very likely pepe is gonna flip shiba you know which means pepe is gonna go to at least above 50 billion dollars in its market cap it could go even higher so the previous cycle shiba Inu went to 50 billion dollars and it could and there are also chances that shiba Inu is gonna come back to 50 billion which means for pepe to flip it it needs to go above 50 billion and you know so we're gonna keep going step by step not to go too crazy right now right like not to scare those white paper warriors and we're gonna say that pepe is gonna go to at least 40 billion which is around the triple zero one level where you see the moon we're still going there now locally paypal seems to be bottoming right seems like it has found a bottom especially now with bitcoin looking good it looks like paypal has found a bottom we might start to see a bit more ranging from paypal and then another breakout this means also paypal version eaters are gonna start to rally like your andes your breads on eat your wolves and your other guys right like we've seen now with base chain so bread on base now just started a base change season and especially now we're starting to see everyone waking up to that coinbase smart wallet which is basically an intuitive wallet where people don't need to do those seed phrases and they just need to have a password to log in and possibly they're gonna need to log in with their coinbase credentials logins and and coinbase is gonna make it easy for people on coinbase for its users where they can just use straight up their fonts on coinbase exchange to trade on chain to trade meme coins that are not listed on coinbase so this way possibly now coinbase wants to avoid listing a lot of coins and just offer straight up to its users the possibility to trade on chain without having to worry if the coin is listed or not that's why it's bullish right so instead of people waiting for coinbase to list a coin they can just go and buy it straight away right so that goes out and also i do think coinbase wants to be as much compliant with the u.s regulations as possible so they don't want to be listing a lot of coins and they just found this as a way out of it right just a workaround coinbase wallet is not only going to support the base chain it is going to support ETH, optimism arbitrum polygon avalanche bnb and zora so this is bullish for the whole ecosystem right for the whole space not only for base chain right now that's important you know but because right now we have breath on base pumping and it just lines up perfectly with the news that's got everyone bullish on base so we're going to be looking on some meme coins on base that i do think have some sort of a potential now first thing to understand about the base chain right now is that we're gonna have a lot of coins launching just like solana so it's just gonna be hard really to get into those low market cap coins and that it will need a bit more of some research from following around looking at the coins and really a bit more effort than eat let's say
today so that's first right and the second thing is the traded volumes the trading volume there is not enough money yet in on base chain just so we know that's very important so base chain 24 hour volume is 624 million that's how much money has been traded on base chain this last 24 hours now if we compare that to ETH, ETH has doubled that right 1.38 billion and solana is even higher right solana has 2 billion now the only problem with solana we all know now is the amount of coins so the, if solana had fewer coins if solana did not have pump dot fun meme coins on solana were gonna be the best thing to do right now so that's the only problem with solana now it leaves us with it as the king and then obviously now we have base chain as the season right now so that's the thing with base chain that's what makes base chain a bit tougher so why did bread go to 1.4 billion right now now if we go to the base chain on deck screen and we look for volume right coins with the highest volume we're gonna have bread and dgen as the highest volume oldest coins with highest volume if we disregard the new launches right like the ones that just launched usually they have higher volume because there is more speculation hype and all that but usually it dies off and then it's hard to pick up again but we want to look at those that stayed around for a while and had sustained tr daily trading volume like breton base so what i've noticed now is that coins on the base chain that have the highest volume are the ones that are listed on some good exchanges like breton base dgn and toshi and the list goes on so those we're going to be looking at right so breton base now is already at 1.4 billion dollars in its market cap which is outside the scope of today's video where we are going to be looking at those mid cap coins that could follow bread the first one is toshi now you guys know i've been sharing with you this one you probably hold it by now i've been sharing with you toshi since it was at 8 million and i got in like way earlier around 8 5 2 million and that is just because back in the days we already knew about that base chain is gonna launch um wallet and uh, already speculated on the base chain narrative and all that which is happening now today now today we have toshi at 188 million dollars in its market cap if there is another coin that could reach 1 billion dollar on the base chain it's gonna be toshi toshi is the oldest is listed on some good exchanges which brings in more volume and still it's one of the highest volumes that we have on the base chain despite the fact that base chain has very dry volume so that makes it very bullish right the problem with toshi is it's a slow runner it's not for those that want quick in and out it's not for those right so it's very important to understand these are things you want to hold for at least few months right like these coins are not gonna be like your tomorrow pump and tomorrow free especially with toshi is a slow runner i'm just like putting it out there toshi is the slowest runner out there so just so i let you know and as you can see here toshi was around 9 million 10 8 for a long time 5 million for a long time then started to trend higher this is when i started to talk about it people my discord started getting into it and it stayed here for a long time around 14 million right and then suddenly it did a spike and then like few more days or a week or two around 100 and then we've seen that major spike where everyone started talking about toshi and noticing toshi and then like slowly went into oblivion faded to 100 million and then now suddenly we're seeing this spike up with the base chain season now toshi is a slow runner and it is gonna go for most of these base chain coins because of the low volume that we have on the base chain that's the point so in 185 days here where toshi was training from that point where it started its first run it only had one second run right it only had one pump and then nothing happening these are gonna be very slow this is gonna take some time now we do have a base chain season right so it's starting but because you know guys each week we have a new narrative in the crypto space and especially when it comes to meme coins we do have a lot of narratives coming in and out which kind of pulls that liquidity out of these other meme coins right so if we look at today here the market right like you will see that the base chain coins are pumping but the other ones are not pumping right like maybe your cocky you new your your ladies and your your when your maga your maniki your snack your grok and all those are not pumping right and you're wondering while the base chains coins are pumping it's because we have narratives right one other problem we have right now guys is lack of new money in the space right now if we look at the usdt flows to exchanges it's down and it's going down it's not really changing much like there is no new demand there is no new money in the market yet it's just the market surviving of its reserves surviving of other 
other coins like when breton base is pumping we have the base chain so people go and sell their other coins to buy the base chain coins just to later on find out that th there's gonna be another narrative and sell their base chain coin to go to the other ones that's why it's very important to understand now guys we don't have new money and if you have those solid gainers those solid narratives the papyverse narratives those top meme coins on base top meme coins on solana top meme coins on other chains you want to understand that we're gonna have a slow run with here and there kind of seasons like we have now with base chain season right but when it comes to toshi now toshi is by far the one that is prime to follow breton bay right so it's prime just because it's the second best on the base chain right now so brett is the top and toshi is the second toshi now is at 180 right so even if you can snag a bag right around 150 million right it looks like it want to go down a bit and it goes to 1.5 billion that's a 10x from here right on toshi which is the second best on the base chain now the second one i like is moshi so moshi is a cat coin on the base chain is also one of the oldest coins it's related to toshi it kind of has the same name as toshi toshi moshi and all that you see you can see here is one of the oldest is november 2023 and the base chain launched in september october so it was just right after the base chain launched or started trading moshi was launched on that base chain it's one of the oldest coins on the base chain you can see also it's picked up with that narrative with that base chain narrative it started picking up it's also listed on some exchanges which gives it also extra volume you can see here the volume is dry now it's 230k volume which is very low right for a coin at that is at 30 million dollars in its market cap but nonetheless this is also another coin that could reach a billion or could do a 10x from here right which we're gonna put it at 300 million i do think it could do a 20x maybe a 40x right from here because it's one of those top this is the top third or let's say top three on the base chain and it shows that it always follows the base chain narrative whenever there is one right like it started breeding obviously here when we seen also like base chain cooling off in the narrative around it but now it's pumping with the base chain narrative which is what we want to see is that we want to see the sustainability over time and we want to know that if this thing gonna survive that dry period we're on right now if there is another narrative popping up and people selling their bags and going somewhere else will they come back in the future to this coin so this could do a 10 20x even a 40x right as a base chain meme coin now we also have roost coin which had a lot of hate and drama going around it with that pre-sale they had and they they had a big dump and all that stuff but they have a strong community if we go to their twitter page and they are trying so hard to get the tate brothers to endorse them and it might just seem like they are actually part of the tates for you and they might just pull it off right they might just pull it off it's a strong team strong community they have everything going on that could give it that big advantage when it comes to that base chain and once we're gonna have the true hype the true people coming to that base chain uh, narrative and the base chain ecosystem and all that stuff right so rules is not that bad right it's not the top but it's not that bad it's only at 23 million dollars in its market cap and the charts also looks bottom right this is deep depression right everyone hates on it everyone is mad everyone all the jeets are out and this is it it could just keep bleeding from here right it could just keep bleeding but also the risk reward is there right so it's there it's here at that support and we could just see it pulling back up from here it's possible right and also it's one of those coins that right like if tomorrow the base chain narrative dies off and we have some other narrative it could stay around because it's kind of sustained itself for a while right now now the next one is Amphir coin now this one i like a bit more right like this one after toshi moshi this one i like the most right now most people will see this chart and feel like this is done with right like this is a scam bro like what is this chart right but these are the charts that i actually like to see right because now it tells me this coin has kind of got rid of all the sellers all the sellers are gone and it has one more bullish thing that i really like right it is listed on bybit now if we go to coin market cap Maffer coin so it's the same one right that we see here also the the market cap is matching and it's listed on bybit so this is how actually brett started like brett is also got listed on bybit htx maxi crypto.com so this guy here got one of those big 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 chances right if i had to bet on a meme coin on the base chain after toshi and moshi i would be looking into muffer coin so just keep in mind there are many there is one on in there is one on solana like the usual business right like right now you got it everywhere you want to make sure that you write amphor coin right and you can just go through coin market cap just to make sure and check that's the right one when you see the exchanges here that's the right one right so 
that's one bullish case for this coin the charts are bottomed like not much is gonna really go around from here now the only problem is the market cap which is 53 million right so it's a super high right now like the market cap is still high even though the chart is look like that but the market cap is 53 million it needs to go to 500 million to just give you a 10x so that's the problem with that if it goes to 1 billion it will give a 20x still have to do more research on this coin but it could do a billion right if it goes to a billion that's your 20x right it's got decent chances right just from the fact that it's listed on these big exchanges that we see here it got that right it got that big potential that it could actually go to that billion it would be good if it drops a little bit more now it looks like it's accumulating but if it drops a little bit more then it would be really like a no-brainer so if we look at the market cap what was the low here it was around 31 million so that was the lowest point ever that this coin reached and it was 31 million and then it's spiking back up now we might see it cooling off again right so i would be more looking to be honest with you i would be looking more to getting in around 30 million that would be more like a really a no-brainer entry but for now we'll see it looks like it might keep trending here as it's not as viral right like not so many people are talking about it and i just actually found out about it here when i see that it's on bybit and maxi hcx and crypto.com that's actually pretty decent right so that's the bullish case here for m for coin so there are so many as i said m for coin on base chain that's that's the, that's the most important and then look at that today we have this meta this new meta chinese something like we have chinese bobo chinese pepe chinese normie all that stuff right so you you see already by that by the time i upload this video there is already another meta so that's the that's when it comes to meme coins and the crypto space in general now this cycle is going to be crazy that's that's why it's very important to actually have believe now right like strong diamond hands and find those coins that you actually believe in right like not only not every coin that you see out there now like you don't need to have all the coins i'm talking talking about but just the ones that really fits with your beliefs as well like at the end of the day is your choice i'm just here showing what i do think about these coins just like what i see right those bullish cases but at the end of the day it comes back to you it comes down to you and what you believe as well with your own research and what you find and does it match like that long-term thesis right that's the most important because as you can see guys always there is always a new narrative popping up right like the celebrities the only fan girls are coming as well the rappers the chinese Chinese Bobo right now to the Chinese Pepe, the based Pepe and all that stuff. So it's very important to understand that. Now, anyways, when it comes down to Amphor, it's Amphor coin on the base chain. Just remember that it's on coin market cap and it's listed on these exchanges. Now, the second one is Base God. Now, this one had had some pumps back in the days. Now, this one also comes from same people or same people that were actually talking about Toshi back in the days, right? So this one also here. Now, the same problem persists, right? The volume. The volume is pretty low on this one, like barely 300k of volume for a market cap of 27 million right a five million dollar market cap coin on each would have a million or more in its volume that's the big problem here with base chain is the volume so anyways back to base god or the ticker is tybg and it actually got to its high was 89 million dollars market cap and it basically made a nice run like it went from basically nothing 1 million 1.5 and 3 million and then like it started going slowly toward that 89 or 90 million and then it went down to 15 14 13 right like it was just here around 15 million up to ranging between 25 27 and 15 million dollars market cap now it's recently yesterday it went up to 36 now it's pulling back to 27 so chart wise it looks like it broke out from a accumulation or something like that so from an accumulation zone so it might just come back here I reaccumulate and then come back up right now that's when it comes to ta uh when it comes to the important stuff right why this coin is bullish it's just because it's seen a massive rally in the past it has a decent community decent twitter page some good influencers following it some of them are the same as the brett ones and this could actually pick up right and also they seem to be supported by jesse polak which is a base chain influencer right on twitter so it seems like they're gonna have a meme summit to tomorrow right and base god is hosting it so this shows commitment from this meme coin it, it shows that they can survive right which is very important that's what we want if they survive till that moment where we really get the actual users coming to the base chain right as for now they are not here yet so when it comes to the chart here i would actually want it to accumulate it right below 20 million that would be good right below 20 million and let's say 20 million and, and if it 
rallies to 200 million, that's going to be a 10x, right? If it goes to 1 billion, it's going to be a 50x, which is, you know, guys, that's going to be a bit tough for that one. I would see Muffer coin maybe can do that, but base guard it would be a bit of a tough one. But a 10x is pretty likely, right? 10x, 20x, even a, a 30x is very possible with this coin. Seeing the community and seeing the effort they're putting in and all that stuff, this is very possible, right? Now, this is also one of those hated coins on Twitter, if you don't know about that coin. It's one of those rules and you got base god and you got some of their followers are also same as brett's followers so there are some bullish cases right there are some it's got some bullish things right and it might just make it like close to the previous highs right and then like maybe something like that and then back down it all depends of like how really that base chain is gonna do right that's all what, what it comes down to and the main problem is there are gonna be a lot more coins there are gonna be a lot more coins when it comes to base chain and when we once we're gonna he, reach that moment right that moment when the smart wallet is gonna be live and we actually gonna have a bull market and retail is back and the usdt flows are gonna be back to normal and we're gonna have a lot of people coming back in and all that stuff once we reach that moment right these coins will have more competition right because they don't have an actual narrative around that right like like brett or brett on base or brett on eat or pepe on base or pepe on eat on stuff like that like those are actually could survive because they have that strong narrative other than being on the base chain or being with a strong team but not unless like until then these coins will have the highest chances to actually pull some decent pumps if that base chain narrative sustained itself and that's why i like pepe on base now pepe on base is still one of the lowest market cap coins that's one that's the one i like more right so i shared with you that one also with that breton eat those are the lowest market cap coins that i actually like that have some decent future right pepe on base now recently they've seen they they've been doing nothing right like that's why also it's very important to stick to your guns and know your thesis and why you're getting into a coin and why you're not getting into a coin so this one started to pump with pepe's pumping and also they get a listing and right so it was doing nothing around 3 million 2 million 1 million it was nothing and then suddenly went up and now it looks like it's bottoming again right it's trying to find a bottom and it's just around 10 million right it's being like really held strong now i do think anything below here is pretty decent it's kind of getting picked up right by many other influencers it's getting picked up and the market is kind of liking it and that would be actually a coin that could last right like that could last it's still a low market cap coin it's at 11 10 million dollars in its market cap now which also gives it a nice kind of risk to reward right it's like we're shooting for higher prices for the same risk right to do a 20x it just need to go to 200 million which is very achievable and it could even do a billion or more and follow brett on base now just to recap guys now the one that i really do think is gonna follow brett and get to that billion is gonna be toshi right toshi now is at 180 i do think this one could pull a billion even more right then we have amphor coin which also has decent chances because it's on bybit then we have the other ones that i shared with you now and we do have pepe as a low market cap gem right at 10 million it could go maybe lower it would be even better to accumulate lower as a low market cap gem that has that potential right because it's on that pepe verse narrative and the, the whole thing with pepe right because pepe is gonna be the big gainer and we can count on that like code in code crypto counting we can count on pepe to keep running and keep bringing up that pepe verse narrative with it even if we get a different narrative each week we can count on pepe to keep pushing that pepe verse narrative with it that's very important now obviously there are some other pepe verse coins on the base chain that there is land wolf on the base chain there is bird dog these are all also decent coins even lower market cap coins now this is, these are not for today's video i'm just sharing with you those that actually are now bottomed or have higher chances to follow brett on base anyways guys uh we're gonna wrap it up here thank you so much for watching today's video really appreciate you watching this video till the end and i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one cheers